Because of Commander Data's resourcefulness, we've been able to track the Warden's subspace communication net. Data has discovered that the Wardens on the Klingon home planet were receiving commands from a distant Federation mining outpost orbiting the planet Norl-7. I've ordered the incursion to approach Norl-7, disguised as a supply vessel. Starfleet has not had contact with the outpost for several weeks since the outpost's last transmission complained of damage to their communication systems. The away team will beam aboard and investigate. Hi everyone and welcome back to Star Trek Away Team. This is Mission 10 and it's the Federation Space Station on Neural 7. Select your entire team now. This mission is pretty difficult because again it's a it's a get seen and fail mission and in addition to that there's a few unexpected things that happen. Uh, again I should take Kirk here. Do I take Kirk in the end? I think I yeah, I really should take Kirk here, I think. I mean, this guy's a this guy could be fun as well because he is packed with explosives. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not convinced. I could quite easily take Kirk there for more sniper shots and sniper rifles always good. The team will beam in here and find their way to the security console to open the security doors protecting the bridge. From here, go to the bridge and access the central databanks. Do not be seen by the guards, or the database may be erased. We suspect these Federation personnel are wardens, so accomplish your goal by whatever means necessary. Where are we? This isn't the space station. We must have been beamed down to the planet below. But where's the rest of the team? And where is my tricorder? I can see some kind of temple structure nearby. Maybe some answers can be found there. Well, I'm effectively pinned down. I wonder where the captain is. Okay, this has started badly. So we have been trapped in a maze like rats. Yeah, that makes sense. And oh, with a load of targs. Great. Now, you notice me setting my phaser to stun there. The reason I set my phaser to stun is that if you kill these targs, they will just respawn. So I am going to avoid killing them and just stun them and run through the maze. And the way to go is pretty obvious because there's only one way to go. It's up round north, round to the south here. And then we are going to loop around up to the top here, come across, and that will take us into that temple structure. So it's not a particularly difficult maze because there's gates and things like that. So uh, let's get going, I guess. And yeah, I'm just going to run. This is a, this is the uh, fairly classic run and gun scenario. You can obviously you can be seen in this part of the. Uh, mission but just don't be seen in another part of the mission otherwise bad things happen as data said they erase the database if they see you and to know that will happen you'll just hit purge the data and if someone uh, says purge the data you've lost the mission okay let's keep going Oh, three of them. I'm still not going to use a concussion grenade or anything like that. This is stun and go. Because I don't want all three of them respawning. That would just be irritating. Oh, fourth one. And you notice my phase is almost out of power at this point. But uh, I think we've just got enough. Yep. So let's get to this temple and see what we can find out. Oh God. Do not fear. I am only here to monitor. I was curious to see whether you would complete the trial. Your team's impressive tenacity is only matched by their skills. You will all make perfect agents. Once you have joined us, you can go back to your incursion starship and spread the way. For some reason, they have moved away. The time is now. Well, that 
could have gone better. And there's only two of us here as well, and it's Ivan and Tandoria. Uh, which means I have pretty much no special weapons. I have three I have no grenades. I have three sniper rifle shots. I think I'd probably have been better with the Bolian dude. Um the reason I'm saying that is that the Bolian dude uh, has I think he has four remote mines, four proximity mines, four concussion grenades, and four sniper rifle shots. So he's sort of a jack of all trades and will kill a lot of things. First things first though, we're going to put the teleportation brig down. There it is. Because we're going to want to beam away bodies pronto. You know, I kind of like the... Um, when this game came out, its graphics were sort of panned a bit. And there are a few other things that are... Um, you know, a few other things that people didn't like that much about it. But to be honest, I feel like, you know, it's a fairly faithful representation. The Borg look great in it. And overall, I'm quite happy with how it looks, to tell you the truth. Yeah, this isn't a good start. Fortunately, his other, fortunately, his colleague is just blind. So, товарищ. Yeah, as you can see, just nothing on this guy is useful. But because this guy's wedged in the door, we can't actually use the transport. So we're going to have to open the door. Okay. And all I've got are EMP grenades as well. This is... This is going to be tough sorting this out. Because the thing is, I have to take a shot back. Where even with my upgraded phases, I have to take a shot back. And I can't stun and gun this, so... I think sneaking past this guy is a possibility, but yep, hyper spray that I can't use. And this is what makes this, well, maybe I made this mission really hard for myself, because I have literally just got it to a point where the only weapons I have are two phases. Um, I have no mines or anything like that at this point, and it's just really poor. Now, obviously, I mean, something I should let uh, out about this is I am a huge fan of these three-quarter um, strategy games. Uh, I am a monstrous fan of XCOM all the way back from its original um, from its original incantation to the incantation it has now. And as you can see, I'm just looking around to see if I have anything. I don't. I just want to kill as many of these guys as possible. It will make my uh, trailing through the ship a lot easier. Okay, so he's the other one I have to kill. But I want to get into this room because this is a safe room. Let's just quickly increase speed so we can get in that room. Oh, he's coming back. Don't see us, don't see us, don't see us. How did he not see us there? I don't know. But anyway, we're okay, I think. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm a huge fan of these three-quarter view strategy games. I'm a big fan of StarCraft. I'm a big fan of... XCOM. In fact, if you guys do want... I mean, I chose not to... Uh, I chose not to LP XCOM because... Well, at least I'm, by XCOM I'm saying the original version of XCOM. I'm a really big fan of the new one as well, but um, obviously this channel's uh, dedicated a little bit more to retro gaming than normal. Than normal. Uh, however... You know, if you get, I chose not to LP it because I'm not sure how well that game comes across as an LP. But if you guys are interested in seeing something like that, just let me know. 
and I will uh, endeavour to um, put something together. I'll have to probably do something to try and make it a bit more interesting, uh, because obviously there is a bit of, you know, as much as the game is fun, there is a lot of, like, repetition in the game. Uh, I think they do a very good job, actually, in the more recent incantations of uh, making sure that doesn't happen. And we're just sneaking in behind this guard. And we got the force field down, so excellent. And then we retreat back to our safe room to analyse what we just did. Somehow they can't hear those huge doors opening, and I've no idea why. Okay, there are two guards on this level. And once again, I have no grenades, no proximity mines or anything else like that, which is going to make this easy for me. Because my captain has the concussion grenades and my security officer has the um, proximity mines. Now, I'm not sure if they do that deliberately. It's all It always leaves you with just two phases and that's it. But again, we're in a safe room. Well, it's not a safe room here because one of these guys is going to come into this room. But hopefully we can split them up. Now, the interesting thing is, I don't know what that is that's happening on that grating. Maybe it's a plasma fire of some description. I have no idea what's actually happening, but it does block the camera's view. And that is an asshole camera. And in fact, the way I tend to deal with it is just to avoid it completely, because that is a total asshole of a camera. Okay, I think one of them is going to come in here and the other one is going to stay where he is. Hopefully he can't see what I'm about to do. Basically he gets... Basically you get two shots off, then he says purge the data, so you have to kill him in those two shots. And somehow that guy is just interested in his wall at this point. You're not going to move, are you? Well, I think the only thing I can do at this point is just charge him. I'd hope I get the first shot off. I'm here. I didn't get the first shot off. Oh, I just got away with that, I think. It looks like I've just got away with it, but my guys are hurt. However, I am going to get around this camera now because this camera is an asshole, as I've said. So I'm actually going to go through this room and I'm going to take the fire necessary. Because, you know, that camera can just go screw itself. There is no way I am trying to work my way around it. But yeah, my guys are one or two hits away from death now. So, awkward. And there's another camera here. But fortunately, it's blocked by that. Uh, it is blocked by that box. So, I can get out of here quickly. And we got around the two cameras, which is one of the hardest things to do. Now, this is probably the hardest part of this mission. And this will take you a couple of attempts, believe me. You've got the guy down at the south who just stands where he is. He doesn't really move. You have this camera. Oh, God, I've just told my people to move. Don't move there. That would be silly. You've got this camera... And the other guy who basically walks in a loop. So what you have to do at this point is you have to wait for this guy to come round. He walks in a clockwise direction. So you've got to wait for him to come round that pillar in order to ambush him. And then you have to do it from outside of the 
camera's range. Wow, that was lucky. You've got to do it from outside of the camera's range. And then, once you've dropped him, you have to beam his body away and EMP grenade the camera without this guy at the bottom noticing. Then run in onto the bridge and shoot the other guy. And yes, I've got to do this without my without Ivan, who is pretty much on, you know, I think two shots he's got there. Yeah, you basically have to throw the EMP grenade, shoot the guy down. Off it goes. All right, let's shoot the other guy down. Cameras, hate me. And it was Ivan who got shot as well. So now I've just got to. Now we've got to run. Oh, I'm actually doing this as I'm doing this instead. I see. Hmm. That's a bit. Uh, I think I'm playing with fire here with that camera. But I've got the body out of here, and now it's just a case of Brexon, please be the one who gets shot. Whoa, that guy on the bridge was hideously weak. I think we might have got away with it here. Well, let's access the panel. Well, I say got away with it, but we still have to... <laughs> we still have to negotiate that camera. This is not going to be easy. I said this mission was tough, didn't I? It was all a hoax. I was being detained in a hollow deck. Thankfully, they didn't have time to complete their research. And that's a TNG holodeck, that is. None of this new holo newfangled holodeck stuff. That's proper TNG business. Okay, so at least we have sort of guns now. But, yeah, I'm gonna have to, like, hypo my people up because they are badly injured. Oh wait, I don't have anyone who has hypos on this mission. This is going to be fun. Yeah, this is not going to be good at all. This is where you do what's called managing your people. It's like basically whoever's on full health goes in first. Because my guys are just on death row at this point. And Raphaelian only has one concussion grenade. Rubbish. Okay, so we EMP the camera again. Unfortunately, I think this also EMPs the door, which is kind of awkward. Once the EMP wears off, it's charging time. And also, none of my guys here have weaponry. Did I mention this is really bad? Damage it looks like we got there. Again, this one, this one is tough. It's like there are certain missions which are uh, there are certain missions which are difficult, and this is definitely one of them. There are missions after this one which don't come anywhere near it in terms of how difficult it is. And then we EMP the camera again on the way out. Get rid of this body. And everyone else can run. And we did it. We got out of that area. And we're also going to come in here. And give a gun to the wrong person. Yeah, because the person at the top picks up the uh, weapon. So that means Rafelian now has two weapons. And uh, Tandola still has none. And now you'll notice that that console is beeping. So again, same job with Ivan here. We or Ivan or it is Ivan, I'm pretty sure. And that will uh, open the security force field that'll get us to the bridge. Okay. Pause and get out of there before he comes back. Okay, so we have another spot done. 
And again, I'm just going to run to the safe zone while I figure out what's happening here. Now, I have enough firepower now to take down a warden in one volley. So that helps. There's one warden. It's obviously not a... Uh, this is a space station, this, not a starship, because I don't recognise the configuration of the bridge. They have actually been fairly... Um, how can I describe it? They have been fairly authentic with the bridges. Hypo refill. That'd be really good if I had someone who had hyperspray. Did you ever feel like you brought the wrong team? And I've done that for the last two missions now. Just bought completely the wrong team. But I think we'll be okay. We've certainly got past the hardest bit of the mission at this point. Okay, we're gonna gun him down. For duty and honor. And you notice you have to select everyone individually. Tavarish. And it's also Security at this point that I realize I haven't given Tandora a weapon, which of is just garbage. Yep, he's got the Romulan Disruptor as well, so never mind. But yeah, I can one-shot uh, people now, so it makes things easier. I am curious. How many hosts has the symbiote joined with? Brexen is the 13th host. She is proving to be the most interesting. <laughs> I'm sure that all sim I'm sure that all Trill say that about themselves. I'm the most interesting host. Okay, there's not actually that many more to um, look at here. Or at least not that many more um, wardens that we have to deal with here. Just a couple. I uh, don't know quite what I'm looking at here. Oh, there we go. There's this one up here. The one who's on patrol down here. And I think we can have just plain avoid the other two. And on the bridge, there's three wardens, which I am going to try and concussion grenade. So... That means I have to keep one concussion grenade... And everything else is free fire at this point. Wait for this guy to go back into his little office. We'll take the other guy out. I'm almost tempted to Vulcan neck pinch this guy, but I don't think we have that degree of time. I lead by example. Of course. They do all have their own of course. Uh, acknowledgement. There we go, nailed him, and he's going to be getting bedded in the wall. It's what That is one of the graphical glitches with this game. It is just like, you know, people getting bedded in walls, etc. This is risky. Captain ready. Of course. Of course. Unfortunately, the Klingon, the Klingon disruptor has a really long range looking at that. And nope, nothing happened here. Just like your guy your guys went off to get some coffee. That's all that happened here. So almost there, just the bridge to negotiate and then we're going to be through this rather tough mission. And we'll get the secondary as well. As you can see, these guys patrol round the bridge. Uh, so all you're waiting for is for them to meet with the guy who's on that centre console. And I think he's the guy who purges the data if, he, if the message comes through, purge the data doesn't mean to kill the android it means just get rid of the evidence and there's a classic example of how noise can't travel through for duty walls. and honor now rafelian is the only one we need to uh, go in here so that is going to be the uh, goal and what we don't want is a uh, sort of cripple throw from him 
which I think is what happened on a couple of occasions when I started this mission. We just got a complete or not a like girly, girly over on Methro. Carefully does it. Careful. And there we go. They are all almost all in the same Hold. place. Die. All of you. There you go. So we did it. We got through this uh, pretty difficult mission. Everything's intact and but it was this wasn't by the numbers. So close to dying. So close. But we are done, and we got the secondary as well, so we've done pretty well overall. I'm happy with that. Since the Wardens devised an elaborate trap for your away team, we have to assume that the Wardens know of the incursion's existence and believe it to be a threat. It's possible that there are still agents within Starfleet relaying information to the Wardens. Until we can determine the source of the leak, the USS Incursion has been granted authority to act autonomously. I've received countless reports that the Wardens are using handheld devices across the Federation. Now, we have one of these cranial necrotizers under analysis, but we still cannot isolate the contagion itself. If the Warden's influence continues to spread, it may become impossible to trust anyone. Continue your investigation and determine the next course of action to stop the Wardens, but do not report your whereabouts to anyone. I will continue to send information regarding the spread of the contagion for as long as I am able. Well, that sounds menacing, as long as I am able. I guess this thing's a hell of a lot worse than we thought. And with that rather sobering thought, I'll see you next time.